Natural Born Killers movie review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Natural Born Killers, I think from 1994, which was just a great year for movies. But this is a movie that I'd heard of a lot. I'd seen the cover a lot. I'd heard uh, Quentin Tarantino kind of had his hand in it. I'd heard it was kind of like a horror movie. For some reason, I thought this movie was gonna be just really cringy and just evil and just a dark ride that I didn't really want to go on and I guess I was looking at some like Quentin Tarantino interviews and stuff and I really obviously like you know Quentin Tarantino and his stuff and I also like uh, True Romance which is something he wrote really really like True Romance if he had a hand in it this was like his last movie before he started creating his own movies I actually really 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 enjoyed this movie but it is for a specific kind of person however it just spoke to me in all the right ways and this is really Tarantino meets serial killers. Like if you could imagine Quentin Tarantino writing a movie about a serial killer couple, I mean, this is as close as you could get to it, 100%. The story is basically, um, like I was just saying, it's a couple, they're serial killers. You end up finding out that there's, there is some childhood trauma between both of them. This is kind of what I would have thought Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas was gonna be, just kind of like a, a weird, wild ride where nothing's really making sense, but these guys are kind of crazy. That's kind of how it is. There's much more of a romance side to this movie than I would have thought and I think that's what really kind of holds it through and it almost feels a little bit like true romance and almost a little bit like the opening scene of Pulp Fiction because it's got this couple and they're kind of crazy it's just basically this long journey in between two crazy people who are serial killers. All right guys, let's jump into the pros of this movie. The pros is that it's very unique. I can't think of any other movie that really does what this movie does. It's really got a unique style and it feels much more like a normal movie and a romance than most of the other kind of horror style movies. It's almost got like a House of a Thousand Corpses style vibe where, you know, everybody's crazy, everybody's insane, and then people are killing other people, but there's also this family vibe. And although it's brutal, it's kind of done in this way to where it's like, it doesn't feel as grim and as evil as it could be. It's almost like this wacky wild ride. And I just really can't think of any other movie like this, to be honest. This movie's got some really um, noticeable, like early 90s, grungy, almost like punk rock style vibes in here. And it's definitely early 90s. If this movie had come out around 2000, the music had kind of changed by then. It's, it's definitely got a grungy early 90s feel, but I actually really like this because this movie just absolutely swings for the fences. Another pro was Robert Downey Jr. So obviously I've liked Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man and all the other stuff he's done since then. And apparently Robert Downey Jr. like really fell off the wagon or really just crashed for like 10 years or 15 years. So I never really knew of anything Robert Downey Jr. did a long time ago because he did act for a while. He went away for a long time and he came back. But Robert Downey Jr. is in this movie. He actually plays a pretty pivotal role in this movie. And he's really, really, really good in this movie, in my opinion, because I expected him to kind of like not really be able to deliver a performance that he could do now. I think he absolutely kills it in this movie and he's got an accent. I just really enjoy Robert Downey Jr. in this movie. I couldn't believe he was in there and he plays a great role in my opinion. And then the last pro, like I was saying, is that it's much more of a normal movie and a romance movie. It does go crazy. It does get very dark and it does go very grim, but it's kind of got this normal story arch and normal romance kind of in the back. So it just is so much easier to watch in my opinion versus a normal slasher. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons of this movie. I only had a few. Um, they have some really dated effects in this movie like if you have any sort of iPhone or something the or like any sort of basic movie editor you probably have access to the effects that were in this movie black and white or just the one that inverts the colors things like that so there's a lot of really dated effects in here and again the old 90s early 90s feel I know that's gonna not be for some people people who can't appreciate that style vibe or don't like that, you know, more of aggressive style early 90s music are probably not gonna like that. So it's really like, if you like that, 
you're gonna love it. If you don't like it, it's just gonna be more of that aggressive early 90s rock. And then the last cut I had was that it was a tad long. It's not really something I wanna take away from it, but I did feel it just drag just a little bit. They have these scenes where the characters are kind of like tripping out and they're, they're switching up the filters a lot. And I felt that was great, but just for the pacing nowadays, I wish it was cut like five, maybe 10 minutes. I mean, just the slightest bit to move it along a little faster. But besides that, I really don't have any problems with this movie for me personally. Probably the most normal yet aggressive kind of like horror movie that there is. And it's one that I'll probably revisit quite a bit because I just really enjoy it. Again, it's almost kind of like a, an early 90s acid trip rock music video to me. This movie is just crazy. I couldn't believe Robert Downey Jr., all that good stuff. So if I were to give it a personal rating, I would give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I think this movie is really, really good. Would I recommend it for you? Depends on if you could, you know, un appreciate that early 90s feel. If I were to say buy, watch, or pass on this movie, I would say watch. For me, I would own this movie. This movie kind of spoke to a very old side of me. I haven't really felt those early 90s like vibes, but also really entertaining in a long time. So I actually just really enjoyed this movie. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this movie. Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.